Clara Zetkin, German, Sti N, Einer, Assen, the 5th of July 1857 to the 20th of June 1933, was a German Marxist theorist, activist, and advocate for women's rights until 1917. She was active in the Social Democratic Party of Germany. Then she joined the Independent Social Democratic Party of Germany, USPD, and its far left wing, the Spartacist League. This later became the Communist Party of Germany, KPD, which she represented in the Reichstag during the Weimar Republic from 1920 to 1933. Life and work The eldest of three children, Clara Zetkin was born Clara Josephine Eisner in Wiederau, a peasant village in Saxony, now part of the municipality Königshain Wiederau. Her father, Gottfried Eisner, was a schoolmaster and church organist who was a devout Protestant, while her mother, Josephine Vitali, had French roots, came from a middle-class family from Leipzig, and was highly educated. Having studied to become a teacher, Zetkin developed connections with the women's movement and the labor movement in Germany from 1874. In 1878 she joined the Socialist Workers' Party Sozialistische Arbeiterpartei, SAP. This party had been founded in 1875 by merging two previous parties, the ADAV formed by Ferdinand Lassalle and the SDAP of August Bebel and Wilhelm Liebknecht. In 1890 its name was changed to its modern version Social Democratic Party of Germany SPD. Because of the ban placed on socialist activity in Germany by Bismarck in 1878, Zetkin left for Zurich in 1882 then went into exile in Paris. During her time in Paris she played an important role in the foundation of the Socialist International Group. She also adopted the name of her lover, the Russian-Jewish leftist Osip Zetkin, with whom she had two sons, Konstantin Kostya and Maxim. Osip Zetkin died in 1889. Later, Zetkin was married to the artist Georg Friedrich Zundel, 18 years her junior, from 1899 to 1928. In the SPD, Zetkin, along with Rosa Luxemburg, her close friend and confidant, was one of the main figures of the far left wing of the party. In the debate on revisionism at the turn of the 20th century, they jointly attacked the reformist theses of Eduard Bernstein. Zetkin was very interested in women's politics, including the fight for equal opportunities and women's suffrage. She developed the Social Democratic Women's Movement in Germany. From 1891 to 1917, she edited the SPD women's newspaper Die Gleichheit. Equality. In 1907, she became the leader of the newly founded Women's Office at the SPD. She also contributed to International Women's Day. IWD. In August 1910, an international women's conference was organized to precede the general meeting of the Socialist Second International in Copenhagen, Denmark. Inspired in part by American socialists' actions, Louise Zietz proposed the establishment of an annual International Woman's Day singular and was seconded by Zetkin, although no date was specified at that conference. Delegates 100 women from 17 countries agreed with the idea as a strategy to promote equal rights including suffrage for women. The following year on March 19, 1911, IWD was marked for the first time, by over a million people in Austria, Denmark, Germany, and Switzerland. However, Zetkin was deeply opposed to the concept of bourgeois feminism, which she claimed was a tool to divide the unity of the working classes. During the First World War Zetkin, along with Karl Liebknecht, Rosa Luxemburg, Louise Koller and other influential SPD politicians, rejected the party's policy of Bergfrieden a truce with the government, promising to refrain from any strikes during the war. Among other anti-war activities, Zetkin organized an international socialist women's anti-war conference in Berlin in 1915. Because of her anti-war opinions, she was arrested several times during the war, and in 1916 taken into protective custody, from which she was later released on account of illness. In 1916, Zetkin was one of the co-founders of the Spartacist League and the Independent Social Democratic Party of Germany, USPD, which had split off in 1917 from its mother party, the SPD, in protest at its pro-war stance. In January 1919, after the German Revolution in November of the previous year, the KPD Communist Party of Germany was founded. Zetkin also joined this and represented the party from 1920 to 1933 in the Reichstag. She interviewed Lenin on the women's question in 1920. Until 1924, Zetkin was a member of the KPD's central office. From 1927 to 1929, she was a member of the party's central committee. 
She was also a member of the Executive Committee of the Communist International from 1921 to 1933. In 1925 she was elected president of the German left-wing solidarity organization Rote Hilf. In August 1932, as the chairwoman of the Reichstag by seniority, she was entitled to give the opening address, and used it to call for workers to unite in the struggle against fascism. She was a recipient of the Order of Lenin 1932 and the Order of the Red Banner 1927. .When Adolf Hitler and his Nazi party took over power, the Communist Party of Germany was banned, following the Reichstag fire in 1933. Zetkin went into exile for the last time, this time to the Soviet Union. She died there, at Arkhangelskoy, near Moscow, in 1933, aged nearly 76. Her ashes were placed in the Kremlin Wall necropolis, by the Moscow Kremlin Wall, near the Red Square. After 1949, Zetkin became a much celebrated heroine in the German Democratic Republic, and every major city had a street named after her. Even today, Clara Zetkin's name can still be found on the maps of the former lands of the GDR. Works Posthumous honors Zetkin was memorialized on the 10 mark banknote and 20 mark coin of the German Democratic Republic GDR East Germany. After 1949, every major city in the GDR had a street named after her. In 1954, the GDR established the Clara Zetkin Medal Clara Zetkin Medaille. In 1955, the City Council of Leipzig established a new recreation area near the city centre called Clara Zetkin Park. In 1967, a statue of Clara Zetkin, sculpted by GDR artist Walter Arnold, was erected in Johannapark Clara Zetkin Park Leipzig in Leipzig in commemoration of her 110th birthday. In 1987, the GDR issued a stamp with her picture. Topic References Topic Sources Topic Further reading Full works of Clara Zetkin available in English at the Marxist Internet Archive Full works of Clara Zetkin available in German at the Marxist Internet Archive Timeline of Clara Zetkin's life in German at the Lebendiges Museum Online. Lemo. Clara Zetkin, Clara Zetkin, Selected Writing, 1991. ISBN 0-7178-0611-1. Dorothea Reitz, Clara Zetkin as a Socialist Speaker, International. Pub. 1987. ISBN 0-7178-0649-9. Gilbert Badia, Clara Zetkin, Feminist Sans Frontiers, Paris, Les Editions Ouvrières 1993. Louise Dornman, Clara Zetkin, Leben und Werken, Dietz, 9, Überarbeitet AUFL Edition, 1989, ISBN 978-3320012281. Karen Honeycutt, Clara Zetkin, a left wing socialist and feminist in Wilhelmian Germany. Columbia University, 1975. Clara Zetkin biography at fembio.org in German. Clara Zetkin biography from the University of Leipzig in German. Topic. External links. Clara Zetkin at Encyclopædia Britannica. Clara Zetkin at Spartacus Educational biography extracts. Zetkin at Marxists. Org Biography, Some Writings, Links Newspaper clippings about Clara Zetkin in the 20th Century Press Archives of the German National Library of Economics ZBW.